think you'll have much on that one because oh. that's got less memory on it. It's on. Oh, I've put it facing the wrong. This is the trouble. I have it facing the oh wrong way. Oh my god! Right, it is time check. Seven twenty-five a.m. We are just leaving home to go to Blicklin. Oh, nice and clear. Blicklin um, Spring. What's it called? Uh, <laughs> spring, spring half marathon. Half marathon. That's it. Twenty twenty-three. Yeah. Um, got my uh, cheerleaders in the car. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Reluctant cheerleaders. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah. Nervous. Uh, how are we doing, everybody? We're okay. Are we ready? Good. Good. It's not raining. No. Uh, it looks the weather's good. It's not too hot. Um, let's go and get this done. Uh, go and find the parking. And um, yeah. Woo! Bye! Prepare to turn right soon. No. Turn right after 400 yards. Here we are. Liquid. We're arriving. There's a bit of a queue for the car park. 7.45 a.m. Right, so keep an eye on where the car is. Good, 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 good. Walking to the start, go and pick up our number. Should be good, not too cold, not too warm. You ready, little buddy? Yep. Have you got a, a cheer and a chant ready for me? No. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. <laughs> right, let's get this done. See you in a minute. Brilliant, thank you. Okay. Here we go. That's where we'd normally park, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Let's do oh, it then. A lot of people. I don't know how many people here. Yellow car, you already called it. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Go, Daddy. Go, go, go. <laughs> do you want to be back in bed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I want to be playing Switch. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, but instead you're here supporting daddy uh, and you want to be sitting down. there's benches over there mate right, it's the only second outing for the bear runner's uh, uniform uh, little little glimpse no, there no. of uh, what's going to be worn so right here we go see you uh, later on i'll try and film if i remember but i might forget so yeah Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> March 28th, and you are. Oh, nice. They're lovely filling bits on the back. Um, some pens and pins over there. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. It's my chip. It's my chip. Okay. Oh, you recorded? Oh, some, uh, some exercises ready to go. You alright? Hope my uh, calves hold out. Alright? Yep. Boom. Ready. <laughs>
come in, just come in. It's on this side. Oh yeah. <laughs> While Paul's running, we're having a cheeky hot chocolate. <laughs> wow. Looks amazing. Boom. So, um, <laughs> it's four days after uh, the uh, Blicklin Spring Half Marathon, and uh, hands up, I, I apologise, I, I, <laughs> I didn't record any of the actual um, running. Um, two reasons, twofold. Um, so, the first reason uh, was that um, on the start line, I met Robin, uh, Robin Taylor, who... Um, I wasn't expecting to see there because uh, um, I, th I thought I'd just be on, on my own. And um, uh, I saw Robin and um, he uh, he agreed to uh, run around with me. Now, Robin is the chap that uh, got me into running in the first place in 2018. Um, he's the head honcho, uh, the chairman of uh, CSODS, which is the Cromer and Sheringham uh, Operatic and Dramatic Society. Uh, sea sods um, and um, I'd uh, just done a, a show I think it was the second second show that I'd done with uh, sea sods uh, called Dangerous Corner and uh, he was the director of it and um, brilliant uh, brilliant play and um, I remember he was talking to me about running at the time probably told you this before but I, he was talking about running and uh, I, I said something like uh, it's okay for you youngsters and uh, uh, running it's, it's okay for you youngsters and um, he pointed out that he was older than me which I didn't realize uh, so um, yeah so that got me thinking and then I got the um, the uh, photos back from that they all they always take uh, show photos uh, and uh, I just looked at myself uh, and wow, um, yeah, uh, to say I'd put on a bit of weight is an understatement. Uh, so that was back in 2018 and uh, that's when I started running, first of all on the treadmill and um, later on going a bit further. So I did the couch to 5k and then moved on from there. So uh, yeah, it was lovely to meet up with Robin and it was good of him to run around with me because um, we were chatting away and um, I, I find when you're running with somebody uh, and you're just uh, chatting away the, the kilometers, miles, they just fly by and uh, before we know it, uh, before we knew it, um, we'd done one lap and we're starting the next. Um, the second reason why I didn't film is because I was having um, a bit of trouble with the uh, we use a an Insta uh, Insta Go to three hundred and sixty camera or something like that, and um, Jake had showed me a way of um, having the camera in my cap uh, and being able to operate it with the the little handhold unit, so you sort of use it separately. But it just would not connect, so. The second half of the marathon, which I should have been able to film lots of people, you know, just jogging along in front of me, um, I managed to, to not be able to film any of it because it just would not connect to the to unit. So I do, <laughs> do apologise for that, but I did do it. I mean, there is proof that I did, did run it. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll put up the relive map which um, you can create from the uh, the Garmin um, uh, the Garmin information I'll put that up so you can see the route and the times and stuff like that but yeah so um, yeah I do apologize about that uh, the other things were um, I was very uh, things I'd do differently I was very unorganized with this um, half marathon um, because um, Jake had originally um, signed up to do it and uh, I was um and now and about doing it and uh, by the time I got round to it and actually deciding to do it um, all the places went 
Uh, so Jake was uh, Jake was there. He was going to be uh, doing the uh, the half marathon at Blicklin, um, uh, and I couldn't. And um, he said, "Well, put your name down on the uh, reserve list. Uh, if they put a reserve reserve list out, put put your name down." So I did that and didn't think much more uh, about it. Um, and then, um, of course, Jake uh, got injured. Um, he couldn't. Uh, it, it took him out of running for about five five plus weeks. Uh, so he then had to give up his um, place on the the Blicklin Half Marathon. And then all of a sudden, I got an email in one night saying, um, "You've got a place on the Blicklin uh, Half if if you want to to do it." And uh, I pressed yes, and sort of realised that I'd probably got about four weeks to before the four weeks before the run to 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 get myself sorted. And I think because I hadn't been training for it and I hadn't hadn't really thought about it much. That then put everything. I I just to to be honest. I yeah. I think if I'd been training for it, I would have um, taken it all a lot more seriously. But in the end, I just thought to myself, well, I'm going to see what I can do with the the amount of running that I've done. I'll just see what I can do and go into the half marathon and see what see what I can achieve. Uh, but that sort of in I I, I think. I, I just didn't take take it too seriously or as seriously as, as I had before, which then come race day. I mean, you, you see all the time uh, people taking um, photos and uh, uh, things of the the race gear that they're going to wear. Wear that like the night before, they've prepared it and put it on a bed, and they 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 know which running shoes they're going to wear. They've been training in them. They they know what tops they're going to wear uh, I sort of knew what the weather was going to be like so I knew it was just going to be a t-shirt sort of job but apart from that I just thought to myself well I'll um, decide on the day what trainers because I didn't know if it was going to be if there was going to be any rain whether it, I'd need trail shoes or, um, or or what so all of this I did the the night before I didn't um, I didn't plan anything uh I sort of knew where my running gear was because it had been washed, so I sort of knew where it was. Uh, and I think that the whole thing I just didn't um, I didn't take seriously enough. So come the morning, I was sort of catching my tail, um, all of a sudden thinking, oh, I need that. Oh, the, the night before, so um, I've been got a slight niggle in my um, ankle and uh, my heel, which I, I got Rachel at um, uh, the repair room to have a look at the week before. Um, I, in my head, I thought I'd got some kinesics tape uh, in the house. Uh, I had. It was about that much on, on, on a roll. So the night before, I was planning to strap up my uh, foot uh, to within an inch of its life and realised I hadn't got any kinesics tape. The shops were shut. Uh, Amazon can't deliver in an hour. Um, so I had to ring around. Luckily, Jake had got some uh, kinesics tape. So uh, Ange uh, <laughs> popped around and got that from Jake, which was very good of them both to help sort me out. Um, so that was like, that's the first bit. I hadn't got the kinesics tape, and I'm thinking, oh, I do. And then I thought to myself, well, I've got some, uh, I'll just use gels um, when I'm running around because uh, um, I knew it was going to be an over two hour uh, run. Uh, I've got some, I think, cyst gels or something like that. I thought, I've got them. Um, they're in the office. Uh, I'll pick them up in the morning. Of course, in the morning, I looked at them, and uh, one box was uh, all out of date. And I thought, oh, my goodness. this I, I'm not, I've am not. i never used out-of-date uh, gels before. Uh, is that going to give me a, an upset stomach? So I was sort of looking around, looking around. Luckily, I found another box that I'd got, um, and they were in date. So... Again, all this going on in the morning didn't didn't need it, uh, and then it's all my fault. It, it didn't. I should have prepared, but I just thought, oh, I'm just going to go out and, and see what's happening. So, all these little bits. Uh, breakfast. I hadn't thought about breakfast before. I'd done um, porridge, oats with some milk soaked in. 
uh, sort of sitting there having a couple of cups of coffee and looking at the time thinking oh we've got to go soon I just grabbed a banana and um, uh, and ate that uh, just so I'd got something in my stomach um, the night before I had had pasta so that's sort of a little bit of planning but um, yeah I was all all over the place and then um, uh, as Angie and Harrison were coming along to support me which was I really appreciated but, but just trying to get out the door uh, at the time I wanted to get out um, because uh, again I hadn't got them to send my run number uh, which I should have done I should have you know so I've got it all there uh, that led to me picking up a load of um, uh, safety pins uh, quickly in the morning and then when I got there I realized they were rusty and I couldn't get them through the t-shirt very well ah uh, oh, so it's like so many things I, I can understand now fully understand why people prepare uh, the night before um, or <laughs> the week before but especially the night before I can understand that now and I will take if uh, whatever run I'm going to do next big run that I'm going to do next I will look to, um, to to cover that all off and just think about that in the weeks beforehand so um, yeah lots of um, lots of silly mistakes um, the organisation at Blicklin uh, Spring Half Marathon was brilliant. Um, there was a slight uh, when we got there, the car park was back. the The cars were backed up quite a way uh, into Blicklin before turning in. And I know later on, some of the people that arrived later, they were stuck uh, in traffic on the road, and there was a bit of a kerfuffle. And um, the uh, the race started about 10 minutes later than it should have done because people were trying to still park and, and, and get their uh, get things organised. So um, looks like they need to look at that slightly for, I think they do another one in um, October. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the volunteers were brilliant. The people supporting and cheering us on, on the way, absolutely fantastic. Uh, yes, um, what what can I say? It, uh, I went into it in my head. I had three goals. Uh, the first goal was to run a half marathon without stopping. Uh, didn't have much training, but that, I wanted to do that. I wanted to run a half marathon without stopping. I failed that. Um, I got 11 miles into it, which is the longest I've ever run without stopping. I got 11 miles into it and my hips just absolutely gave up on me. Uh, they were burning. They were, I started walking like I was drunk uh, when I when I had to stop it. Uh, I tried to walk for as minimal as possible and keep keep uh, running as much as possible. But uh, I was so the last two miles, it was so painful on my hips. So it looks like I need to do some more work on that, which probably just means longer runs and... Uh, getting the the distance into into my legs um so the first goal i failed the second goal was to um to uh, come in in a time uh quicker than the last time i did the blicklin spring marathon now again this is uh being underprepared and not not thinking about it in my head i thought that i'd done the blicklin half in 2022 the spring marathon in in um, two hours and 15 minutes something so in my head it was two minutes 15 um, so I came over the line uh, gutted with myself for having to walk some bits of the the last two miles and then thinking oh, I've done it in 219 so not only have I not achieved the first thing I've, I've uh, failed to do the second uh, <laughs> uh, goal um, but later on in the day, I found out that uh, I was remembering it wrong, and I'd done um, the Blicklin Spring in twenty twenty two in uh, twenty uh, two hours twenty five minutes. So I knocked off about six minutes. So I am pleased with that. But at the time, I sort of came away thinking I haven't done it. That's the second sort of thing I failed. So there was sort sort of I crossed the line. Was grateful about that, but uh, there was a, a little bit of me that was like, ah. Oh, that's uh, I haven't done it, and then my third goal was to try and beat my beat my um, Sandringham half marathon time, which I knew was two hours thirty something. I knew I was a lot slower at Sandringham um, uh, 
mid, uh, it was in June uh, of the year, it was a hot day, I, I knew I hadn't done it as far. So I was pleased that the two hours 19 at uh, Blicklin was, was quicker than that. So at the time I thought I'd achieved my third goal, but failed my first two goals. So two out of three isn't bad. And um, I will get to the point where I, I can run a half marathon without stopping. Hats off to everybody that goes out and does it on like they the people that just go out and do a, a Sunday long run and it's longer than half marathon and they can they, they can keep up uh, that uh, thing the the other thing was um, because I was running with Robin uh, and not not uh, not because of running with Robin I thoroughly enjoyed running with Robin but um, I had set up on my Garmin uh, Pace Pro a um, uh, I'd set it up to start slower uh, and increase over time so uh, that sort of went out the window uh, and I was running at a very comfortable pace uh, with Robin but um, when I look back at my um, splits I was uh, probably uh, half a minute to a minute faster than what I was planning to uh, to go so what I need to do now is uh, to try and run uh, uh, try to yeah, try and see if by running the splits that I was planning to run, uh, run slower, get faster, get faster, get faster to the end, whether that would have carried me on, whether I would have had enough in my legs um, uh, to to do a half marathon without stopping. Um, I was just, I was absolutely amazed. I thought the problems were going to come from my uh, ankle. Uh, and my heel, which I'd strapped up, and I'd got a a, a tube sock on uh, as well, but uh, managed to get around the whole course without having to worry about any of that whatsoever. Couldn't feel that. Uh, that all went well. The other thing, uh, last time in the Blicklin Spring Half Marathon, I my um, calves really cramped up in the uh, in the last, or oh, I don't know, it must have been about in the last five k last time. Um, this time I didn't have any of that cramping, uh, so it was the most uh, positive um, finish to to uh, half marathon that that I've done so far. Um, at Blicklin they cramped up, and at Sandringham half marathon they cramped up. So didn't get the cramping, didn't get the problems with the ankle that I thought it was just the hips area. So um, if you got any suggestions of what I need to do to to improve that, whether I need to do uh, exercises for the hips or whether it is just a case of uh, the amount of uh, distance covered uh, the amount of runs the just the um, getting that power into my legs um, so that at some point I will hopefully uh, <laughs> uh, do a half marathon without stopping which will be a huge achievement uh, for my for myself I, I I'd, I'd be over the moon for that. Jake finds it no problem whatsoever. So, but for me, that's a big hurdle to get over mentally as well as physically. I think I, I, in the last two miles, the demons came into my head, and there was the, uh, the why, why are you running? Why are you doing that? Well, you just stop now. You'll you'll be all right. Nobody can see you. You're the only one that knows if you're going to stop running or not stop running. So, those demons came to the fourth in the in the last two miles, but. Very pleased. It's a it's a brilliant. If you get the chance to do Blicklin Spring Half Marathon or the uh, Blicklin um, Autumn Marathon, uh, get up to Norfolk and, uh, and do it. It's a brilliant course. So beautiful around there. Um, and finishing in front of the uh, in front of the big house is uh, uh, a massive thing. Um, yeah. So yeah. Sorry to have rambled on. Hopefully, I can cut some bits out because it's. Probably you, you all fell asleep now. So, um, yeah, um, thank you for listening to my explanations. And um, we'll get the, the the rest of the footage that I managed to film at the end in. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, catch up with you next time. Boom!
Paul's just finished. We're just going to try and find him now. I can see him over there. We filmed you. <laughs> well done. Oh, oh, I'm falling over. Oh. <coughs> How was it? Oh. <laughs> I think I got to 11 miles without stopping, but then my hips just gave way. You fall over? Yeah, my hips just painful. Is that what you called it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's there? Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, how did Robin do? He came in. He's probably about five minutes or ten minutes before you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes, done it. Managed to do it. Look at that. Yeah. Here he comes. Look. Support. Woo! <laughs> you all right? Yeah. We're going to cheer this person coming up down here. We'll give him a. We've got your sausage roll. What? Oh, I I, do you know, I don't think I could eat it. Well done, go on. Woo! Woo! Here they come. Look at this. Give these, a, these guys a clap. Look at this. That's it. Well done. Woo! Woo! Well done, Caroline, Andrew. Well done. <laughs> Boy, do you know the names? No, they've got it on the shirts, darling. It's like I've got mine, I'm here. People are shouting, well done, Paul. <laughs> uh, and right, Robin. we are done. That's So you're not going to eat the sausage roll? Do you know, I can't. I don't think I could eat the sausage roll, darling. Here we are. We'll save you. behind us. We'll save you half. <laughs> right, catch up with you next time. Woo! All done. All I haven't saved my distance yet. It's um, pace, uh, average pace. Oh no, two hours 20 43 it says. Uh, distance 21.14, so that's you know, I've gone over there. 6.39 pace, so happy with that, I think. Um, didn't manage to, my A goal was to run around. Um, uh, how do I save it? Oh my god, I don't want to lose it. <laughs> save. Um, <laughs> uh, my goal was to go around without stopping I think I got to 11 miles and then my hips just gave up I had a Shakira moment they just don't work or, or they do work I can't remember what's they, Shakira they don't lie hips don't oh, lie, their hips don't lie. Yeah, so no. um yeah that was at 11 miles um apart from that it was all going swimmingly <laughs> until then and then I had to sort of walk and shuffle and and run and um so it was a bit slower than the last time I did it where I did more uh jeffing uh running and walking mm -hmm. but um yeah happy with that happy well done done it Woo! Survived. We're, we're proud of him are we we're proud yep. of him yeah, yeah. survive <laughs> i was a bit because uh, i had to strap up my foot which has been giving me hassle and i thought that would that would scupper me and then my calves because i've had like cramping in my calves this week but i managed to get round it was just the hips in the end so there you go. Well you done. can't. You can't. Um, what is it? You can't. Uh, I'm delirious. I can't think of words. No. Uh, you can't cover all bases, can you? Sort of thing. Um, and I and I managed. I had one of them gels, and it leaked in my pocket. So oh. that was that's oh. nasty. I bet you uh, wish you'd taken the Colin caterpillar. I should have had the Colin caterpillar yeah. off of Robin. Who, yes. Robin was there today. Um, I, you might have got some footage of him. Uh, Rob, thank you, Robin. You're the one that got me doing this, and uh, yeah, put me on a new path i suppose isn't it yeah. so yes thank you very much boom <laughs> you, you're not allowed to do that oh unbelievable oh i was trying oh. trying something how okay. about that yeah. no you can do it no do a little wave like that <laughs> thank you for watching um and if you've watched any of our videos and enjoy them please like um share not 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 share the singer and subscribe that would be uh, fantastic